Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is the A1990 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro. It's a very nice machine. Very big, very nice. Has a touch bar and everything. This one does have a liquid spill for it, and we're going to be doing a repair on it today. So let's just get into it right away. We have it open, and we always want to do a nice little inspection first to see where the nastiness is and we can kind of see over here see there's a little bit of a smear here and there's a little bit of brown that goes to go on the top here so this looks like the most heavily impacted area it looks like something going on uh, over here i do believe this is the area of the power button correct this side yes it is so it's around the area close to the power button also it's very scary because it also is closer to where the USB-C ports are so um, we want to actually just remove the board because we want to see where else uh, the damage is and we also want to isolate the problem and take the board out from other connections as well and, and inspect anything else that we really do see all right so let's just remove the board and we will do a nice little inspection after that so we did remove the board and let's just uh Oh man, look how dusty that is, huh? It's really dusty. Let's get that big chunk of dust <laughs> out of here. Well, at least you know it most likely hasn't been uh, opened, at least to this point. So that's at least a good sign. Anytime you see a lot of dust or anything. Um, we're just going to do a quick inspection. I already did see some on the other side, but we always want to check this side too. And uh, since this was mainly in um, uh, this area that goes over here, uh, we want to make sure we focus mostly on this area over here because uh, I do know these two chips are really important for at least uh, the USB-C charging. So we want to make sure we can take it out the port, which is actually very nice that uh, these are removable. There's some models that don't. I think actually only one of these newer ones just aren't removable like this one. We just want to check to see if there's any corrosion on here, any liquid or anything like that. But actually these look pretty healthy. Don't look like there's really been much impact there. So... Uh, we can just put that on back. We're not totally back yet because we actually might use it. So let's leave it right there for now. But uh, we are worried about this side. Let's see if there's any type of corrosion. Um, I do see there's some on the bottom here um, next to some of the little uh, caps down there. And let's just go see if uh, under the microscope I think it'll be better. And actually you can see a little nice little dust bowl. Let's go under the microscope so we can see a little bit better. All right, so let's take a look and see. You can see around this area here. You can see a little bit of that stain. It's very dirty too. Top of everything else. Remember that? Yep, you can see right there. See that? So let's go over here because I did see this one is uh, has a little bit of a stain on here. This has been impacted too. This is a power management chip. It's the U seven eight hundred, and it has been impacted as well. So. Uh, we'll, we'll go through it. You can see there's a lot of corrosion, especially up there, and see what we can do for it. Uh, I did check the other side. Let's check the other side real quick here. And let's see on that on the right side there. See if there's anything else. It's very dirty. See there's lots of hair and everything. So we're gonna do a nice little clean on that dust and hair. I'm not sure why it all just kind of <laughs> got all in there. But, oh, there we go. See the hairs covering other stuff too. I didn't, I didn't really see that on the other side. So that's a little bit of corrosion here. So looks like this main right side has been impacted, and that little uh, IC chip has been impacted as well for the power management. And uh, let's go ahead and clean it and see what we can do. So we're going to be starting with a U7800 IC chip. We're going to be using flux and hot air to get underneath the chip and clean it very well. Um, it's better than uh, if we need to, we would remove it if it's still giving us any type of issues, maybe have to replace it. But uh, most of the time, this will do a pretty good job uh, if there's not too much corrosion around it. And we're also going to be working on the trackpad connection and making sure everything else is pretty much clean. We're going to be using a lot of alcohol and uh, obviously the flux uh, wherever we do need it.
And we're also going to be making sure the USB-C ports aren't going to be any type of issue. I did know that I did say earlier they look pretty clean, but looking under the microscope, you can see it's a little bit dirty, and it can cause issues, uh, especially with charging, and we don't want anything shorting out. So we might as well just clean it anyway, and just make sure it's all safe to use. Let's go ahead and test it. We were a little bit worried about this area over here because especially this is where the trackpad is, the connection, but uh, it seems to be, looks to be okay. Uh, just a little bit going on there, but uh, I think we cleaned it. I think that's all it really needed, but well, again, <laughs> we'll test it and we'll see. So it's gonna plug in the battery too. All right, and now let's see the fruit of our labor, huh? Let's go see this thing work. Okay, see the, the fans are spinning. The chime came on, Apple logo, looks to be good. All right, so we were able to log in. You see that cursor is working fine, which is good. That's what we were a little bit worried about, and we want to make sure that the keyboard is working too. Where do you see that is the case as well? So it does look like it did work, and we were able to do the repair for this one. Looks pretty good. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing the repair for the A1990 2018 MacBook Pro. Uh, if, if you did learn something today or you had a lot of fun watching it, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Please subscribe for more content. We do lots of MacBook liquid sewer repairs, and we also do lots of day recoveries as well. Stay tuned for lots of other stuff that's going to be coming along. I um, really hope you guys enjoyed watching, learned something today, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.